Good morning, Zed. News hitting us this morning is that Enoch Mwepu has been forced to end his playing career with Brighton and Wolves Albion. So the club published the following statement stating that Enoch Mwepu has been forced to end his playing career following the diagnosis of a hereditary heart condition. The condition which has worsened over time could put Enoch at an extremely high risk of suffering a potential fatal cardiac event if he were to continue playing competitive football. Club chairman Tony Bloom said, We are still absolutely devastated for Enoch. He and his family have had a traumatic few weeks and while we are just thankful that he came through this period, he has seen such a promising career cut short at such a young age. So, you know, this is a young guy that has played his life trying to get into his prime now. He's actually yet to get to his prime and this is happening well before he actually even gets to his prime. So we are not yet sure if this means that he will have to stop playing national football as well. Because this has nothing to do with that's a club, but has to do with health issues. So if it deals with health issues, it means that you would have to stop playing also for the t national team because that could actually cause more risk because national team football as well is competitive, according to the article it said. So him, actually, Mwepu said the following statement. He said, a boy, a, a small boy from Zambian township called Chambeshi has some news to share. He stood strong to follow his dream of playing football at the highest level. And by the grace of God, he lived his dream by reaching the Premier League. We know only few people get to reach the Premier League. So it has been a privilege for him to actually get to this point. We hope that he was supposed to have continued even further. But, you know, things do happen in this way. And it's sad that it's happening this way. It says, some dreams, however, come to an end. So it is with sadness that I announce the need to hang up my boots because of the medical advice I have been, I've received. This is, however, not the end of my involvement with football. I plan to stay involved with, in some capacity. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that supported me in my football journey, including my wife, family, my agent, 12 man, the Zambian FA, all the previous clubs, teammates and coaches and especially everyone at Brighton and Wolf Albion. So he has officially made a statement stating that he will no longer play competitive football. He said however he will try to play from one from time to time. So which means in this case I would assume that he would play for the national team because the national team does not play that often. They do play games maybe once in a while, maybe once in uh, six months, somewhere there. And there is some training involved in that way. So in that way he will not get to stress himself, go get to pressure himself that much and he will get the medical attention that he needs as he plays for the team. So we are very saddened to hear of this news because he is a young man that is now getting into his prime. He has been playing very well for Brighton and Wolf. This is a young man that uh, first of all had his career from uh, Red Bull Salzburg in 2017 after which he played very well. He moved to the Premier League in 2021. Uh, which is just last year. So he had, he's had a journey in the Premier League which has not been very long but all, overall it has been a good journey to see him play. We are very proud of him. Enoch Mepu has been one of the most disciplined players that we've had uh, represent Zambia at a very high level, you know. And uh, we are very grateful for that and we hope more Zambians could go further as he has set a record as well. Uh, together with his uh, teammates like Pat Sondaka and uh, Fashion Sakala who've played also abroad. So we hope that to see more players get encouraged to follow his footsteps because he has set a record for the Zambian community. And we hope that no, if, if players do listen to these kind of things, they should also strive to get that kind of greatness and get to the top to where he had gone. So it can never get better than Premier League and he was there. So we salute you, King. And uh, we know that definitely uh, is, it could be a tragedy. It is a tragic event to have happened in this way. But either way, stay strong. We, the Zambian community, still support and will continue to support you even in the national team if you continue in a case where you continue to play in the national team generally. So here is the news. You have it straight from uh, Z Gambit. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share these videos so we can give you more updates about news happening around the world. Uh, mostly about Zambians, but every other thing that we do talk about that is trending at the moment. So thank you for watching. This is Maxwell with Z Gambit and wonderful day.